As we take a look at the Toyota Arena in Ontario, California, the site of what should be a thrilling main event between Jaime Munguia and Sergei Derevyanchenko. As we take a look at our tail of the tape for our main event, you see Jaime Munguia with a drastic height advantage, a three inch reach advantage. Both men just weighing in under the 168 pound limit. But as we talked about earlier in the broadcast, both men have rehydrated to very similar weights. Derevyanchenko around 181, Munguia roughly 185. Our rules for this contest, they are the unified rules. No standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Fighters cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Only the referee could stop the fight. Munguia looking for a check left hook there. Yarvinchenko goes downstairs to the body, so does Munguia. Both men firing away to the body. Trading left hooks, Yarvinchenko lands a big right hand that sent Munguia back. And this is the fight we all expected. This fight has fight of the year men all over it. You know, both these guys look a little bit rocked from that exchange. Good action early as Derevyanchenko lands another right hand. And this is what I was talking about earlier, guys. The bully backing up the bully. Derevyanchenko backing up the bigger, stronger fighter in Mugia right now. Oh, good left hook there. Landed on the top of the head of Derevyanchenko. That might have affected him. Oh, that rocked Derevyanchenko. Derevyanchenko shook by the left hook. Munguia all over Derevyanchenko. Big right hand breaks through. Derevyanchenko punching in between the shots of Munguia. Derevyanchenko is hurt, but he's here to win. Derevyanchenko dangerous even while hurt. Uncorking a big left hook there. Not deterring Munguia who landed a big uppercut. Big one, two, three. All three punches landed cleanly on Munguia. There's the first heavy body shot by Derevyanchenko. I was waiting for Derevyanchenko to go downstairs to the body. That's going to be key in this fight. Look, we know Derevyanchenko can take a punch. He took big shots from Gennady Golovkin. He took big shots from Daniel Jacobs. Officer, stop! Yeah. Munguia took a big left hook. Yes, he did. Derevyanchenko. I don't know if Munguia was rocked or he might have slipped right there, but that was a clean left hook by a big puncher in Derevyanchenko. And there's another one from Derevyanchenko as now he pushes Munguia back. And Derevyanchenko dig it to the body, which is what he should do. Munguia might be in some trouble. The head snaps back as Derevyanchenko is crowding Munguia along the ropes. Sergio, you made the point. Go to the body. That is where Derevyanchenko can do his most damage. Listen. Mexicans are known for that Mexican liver punch. But whenever you have someone that's tough upstairs like that, you gotta dig back downstairs. Give them their own medicine. Left hook on the inside there from Derry Vichenko as Munguia trying to get his jab working a little more here in the fourth. And that's what he's gonna need. In order to stop that footwork and stop those angles, Munguia needs to throw the jab. That's what keeps the shorter fighter at bay on the next for moving. You control the temple with the jab. There you go, upstairs and downstairs from Munguia. Anytime you have a fighter or a boxer that's good with his lower body and his footwork, you got a jab to the chest and the torso area. That, that doesn't move. And this is also, Sergio, these are moments where Derevyanchenko is kind of allowing Munguia to get off. Derevyanchenko at times can be a bit of an ambush fighter where he'll take some reprieve on the outside and Munguia filling those gaps with jabs and left hooks to the body like that. Good body shot by Mim Munguia. Strafing punch for Munguia. Ambush fighter, I like that, Corey, because that's exactly what I'm seeing right now. But Derevyanchenko, you can never, I mean, Munguia, you can never be too easy because shots like that are too hard to be against the ropes. Well, let's send it over to Claudia Trejos, who's standing by with Eric Morales. Thank you, Corey. Eric just told me that um, he wants Munguia to just stay.
stay in a good pace, maintain his distance. He doesn't want him to go into a close exchange with Derevianchenko. He's still making adjustments. He said, don't, don't get too rushed into a decision right now. Relax, be patient. Thank you so much, Claudia. You know, Sergio, one thing I'm seeing from Munguia right now, a little bit more rhythm, a little bit more bounce in his step, and he bounces the head back of Derevianchenko. A glancing right hand. Rock Derevianchenko, but back comes Derevianchenko. It seems like Derevianchenko has his best moments right after he gets hurt. Big oh, shot by Derevianchenko. Derevianchenko. Munguia's hurt. Munguia's hurt bad. Munguia in serious trouble. He's wobbled along the ropes and firing back. And Munguia rocks Derevianchenko. A step back, counter left hook there from Derevianchenko. Munguia falling. A little bit short with his right hand. Again, trying to find that bounce, trying to find the rhythm in his step. But are the legs there after that round five? The pivot on the inside again from Derevianchenko. See, Munguia is going to have a, a quicker time being resilient coming back from tough rounds. He's a younger fighter by 11 years. This is a good comeback round for Munguia. Boxing staying on the outside. Popping that jab. I agree with you, the age part, though, Sergio, but you can certainly wonder which of these two is in better condition coming into this fight. Taller fighters hate those jabs to the torso, to the gut area, and it also sets up over, overhand punches. Big right hand gets through from Munguia. And a little bit of swelling immediately starts underneath the left eye of Derevianchenko. There's that jab to the gut for Derevianchenko. Sergio, you see Derevinchenko trying to dip down and throw that overhand left. He's dipping down to the left and just trying to reach up and time it. Now, both these fighters are trying to time something big, but right now Derevinchenko, I think, has a better timing, just like that. That's what I'm talking about. Dip and throw that left. And we're back to action. Definitely a mouse underneath the eyes, the left eye of Jaime Munguia. Oh, a dip in the knees of Derevinchenko. He he says no. It came after he landed a punch. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was a slip. Sometimes you see guys on the middle part of that ring apron where there's an advertisement sometimes slip in that area of the ring. It wasn't a slip because he landed a punch. That's 37 year old legs. But he's having a good round right now, Darren Chinko is. He landed a big right hand a couple of moments ago. Looks for it once again, trying to land behind the ear of Munguia. There. Dermot Shake. Mugia's hurt. Mugia's hurt. He left. Dermot Shake on an overhand right. He shook. Quick Officer. combination on the inside. Gave Mugia pause, at least temporarily. Man, Mugia takes a big shot upstairs. But Mugia is rock. I don't think Dermot Shake knows that. Well, Mugia's always been lauded for his punch resistance. He's never been hit like this before. Never been hurt like this before, but somehow he's remained on his feet here tonight. See Munguia almost forgetting about the jab now because his corner wants him to get in tight and land nice tight uppercuts. Guys, that's something he's been able to do against lesser opposition, but he has a man in Derevianchenko whose footwork is giving him fits. Well, this is what we talked about yesterday with Andre Rogier. You know, we asked him, are you impressed with the development of Jaime Munguia? He said he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do against the guys he's doing it against. He wants to see Jaime Munguia do it against the guy on this level, and so far, Munguia's really struggled. Look at this master class that we're watching right now by Sergey Dervinchenko. Power boxing at its best, not giving the favorite man an opportunity to land anything on the stop, outside. Stop. Controlling the tempo, landing his shots. This is smart power boxing display by Sergey Dervinchenko, even at 37 years old. Good left hook from Munguia a moment ago. Yeah, that back there of Inchenko up. A big one-two by Munguia right there. That rock there of Inchenko. There of Inchenko's hurt. There of Inchenko's hurt, guys. There of Inchenko in trouble as Munguia trying to stave off an upset loss. There of Inchenko now looking tired. 
Hard shot there from Munguia. Big right uppercut by Munguia. Kevin Jacobs rock. The crowd trying to rally behind Munguia here. Who looks a little bit more energetic here in the 12th than he has in several rounds. Yeah, and adrenaline takes over in the final round now. So boy, I can expect both these guys to have a nice spring and bounce on the step. We'll see who takes advantage. Munguia doubling, tripling up on that left hook. His body shot by Munguia. And now it goes Gary Vincenco. The left hook folds him over and sends him to the canvas. That's exactly what Jaime Munguia needed. Gary Vincenco was hurt. An eternity for Munguia to work with. Can he pull it off? Gary Vincenco badly hurt. It won't take much. Another body shot will put Gary Vincenco on the drag canvas again. Jenko's got a hold here. And down go both men. And Jaime Mugia pops right up because he doesn't want to waste a single second of this last round. Everyone on their feet. Mugia lands another vicious left hook. Derek and Jenko just barely hanging on. Jaime Mugia take doing the right thing, not smothering his power, not giving a chance for Derek and Jenko to clinch. Beautiful body shot by Mugia. Derek Vincenco trying to roll with these shots. Trying to hold on. 45 seconds remain in this fight. Mugia better go back down to the body. Right after the body of your Mugia. High drama in Ontario. Mugia is head hunting too much. Forgetting about the body. Looks like he gave Derevinchenko just enough time to get his legs back. Mugia hunting for a knockout, and it's one he may need. And Mugia still head hunting. The body is where he should go. You see Mugia calling for a fight. Derevinchenko shaking his head, saying, nah, I'm good. Did Jaime Mugia just let his opportunity pass? And now we go to the scorecards. Judge Dr. Lou Moret scores at 115-112. Rudy Baragan, 114-113. Fernando Villarreal, 114-113. For your winner by unanimous decision,